soul okay. plants. So plants have a soul, soul and a, yes. and a consciousness. Do you yes. think plants are self-aware? Tell me about the ghee. You know how much suffering is in the dairy industry. Well, I only get grass fed like from very specific farms. So if you feed the cow grass, do you think that stops the suffering? Free food here, everyone. It's free, so that should sell it enough. You want some burgers? Fishless fillets, vegan, really good, crunchy, tasty, with vegan cheese. Okay, well, yeah, you can come and take a look when you want. You want some food, brother? I'm, I'm already vegan. You're a vegan? Why, yes. why is there so many vegans I mean, here? I'm not actually. I, I do have honey and I have ghee. Oh, ghee. Ghee's from a cow. Yeah. Oh, well, ghee, th th well, this isn't a vegan, this is a vegetarian. Because honey and uh, ghee I are vegetarian from, foods. Yeah, but I barely eat them. You barely eat them? So, you, um, what about you? Are you a vegan? I'm not. Um, uh, I'm a non vegetarian. So, you're a meat eater? Yeah. But well, she lives with me. I give her all, this, all these facts all the time. <laughs> you do? That's true. Yeah. I mean, I mostly eat uh, vegetarian food. You we do? Grew up eating vegetarian. Hello, would you like a fish sandwich? It doesn't uh, have actual I fish in there. They're fishless fillets. Oh. Yeah, I'm also curious yeah. to see what's in that. Oh, hello, puppy. Oh, maybe this. let me not take your plate. You can keep the plate. It's paper. It, it no, will just decompose. Good. No, no. It's, it's fine. Okay. okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you. You're welcome. And you would like one too, because oh, we yeah. want you to try the the, the vegan food. Because yeah, okay. and, and I know, you, like you say, that you've heard the information, but. We're trying to get people to stop abusing fish through their lifestyle. We, we fish feel pain and they don't want to die. Yeah. You know My thing I'm... is people should just like not need to even find, like there are enough substitutes for protein in your vegetables and yeah. mm. your rice. You don't actually need to have soy. Uh, Mock meat? Substitute, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. what if someone yeah. wants a fish burger? Not we don't then. want them to abuse the fish and then we, can, then we say, okay, we well, can have some and beans cheese. and fruit and they're like, well, I don't want beans and fruit. Yeah. I want a burger. So then we say, well, instead of killing the animals and torturing the animals, you can have a burger, but just made of this. Yeah, I mean, but like the soy, for example. What's the matter with soy? The industry, the soy industry is pretty... It's bad for the environment. Uh, yeah, and it's, yeah really it's because they're yeah. feeding all the soy to the animals. That's why. And so like the whole ready-made, the fact that Monsanto owns most of the soy. Yeah, that, that, that soy and is going to the these animals here in animal agriculture. So most yeah. of the soy on earth has been but fed I'm to the chickens the and the cows. That the, using soy protein is like, for me, the best alternative is still not using the soy protein. I know you're doing like step one. But, I'm yeah, but what's, about, what's so bad about soy in and of itself? Is it because they're deforesting for soy? It, the soy, the, what, the way it's grown in itself, like the... Yeah, do, do you, I'm just it's, wondering, it's, it's, soy is a bean, you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so they, what about edamame beans? Do yeah, you think that that's bad? I love them. I know, yeah, I know, yeah. I love soy, I love tempeh, I love... Tempeh. So what about organic soy, for instance? Yeah, what's no, what's the problem with organic soy? No, there's no problem with okay. organic soy. Okay, so you're, you but think it's that... Very, it's very, it's, it's, you, if you look at how much soy Monsanto owns, and how yeah. they have changed the soy yeah. um, to be resistant to, to their okay. pesticide, which yeah. is what they use. It's quite oh, like the, the soy Yeah, I understand itself. that like the soy that's being grown yeah. in that way yeah. is being fed to animals that people eat for meat. It, that's so saying. it's not like uh, the, the, food, the soy that we're eating isn't coming from these mass... It is actually. We're, we're not... We look. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. So you mean the soy oil or something like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The soy that we so eat, we, we, we consume, uh, most of it Monsanto has bought over all over the world. Soy is imported from China, the ones that humans eat. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm just saying we eat a fraction, a minor percentage yeah. of the soy that the animals in animal agriculture are eating. So if there's 50 billion chickens on Earth... We're both agreeing. Yeah, yeah. We're saying so, that it's a bad industry. But like, it's and only... you could find alternatives yeah. to even use a substitute, ones mm. that aren't owned by Monsanto. Oh, yeah, yeah. Example. But like a lot of the soy that is in tofu, for instance, is just organic soy. Is it? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, well, we, I've got like tofu in here. It's organic soy. 
if okay. Like we don't eat from the same place that but the chickens eat their their soy from. Most of the pe soy that people just get in restaurants and stuff. It's well, the same. It's I don't know. Organic. Well, I don't know. I would say that most of the soy that Monsanto are growing is going to like animals in animal agriculture. Just statistically, there's 74 billion land animals. But they, there's only they 7 billion humans. So soy. Yeah. It's still going to humans. You should check that. No, I'll check that. I don't yeah. think plant foods are the problem. I think our use of the plant foods are the problem. Our use as in? No, like if we eradicate our use of animals, right, we won't be growing tons I mean, of soya. Already... So why would we need monocrops, for instance? Yeah. Why would we need that? We wouldn't yeah. need that for just this fraction. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Because people want to eat dairy coming from cows, yeah. which that they need to be fed a bunch of soy. Okay, like, for example, Impossible Burger, whatever. You know, the Impossible yeah. Meat. And what's the matter with this? That's owned by Monsanto. That's patented by them because they provide the soy for those burgers. I don't, I don't know anything about yeah. Impossible. I know about Beyond Burger, but they, they use pea protein in Beyond Burgers. Yeah, but I'm talking about Impossible Meat or whatever. I don't know if it's made from soya, but like, uh, I don't actually promote the Impossible Burger because they actually I tested know. on a few animals and killed them. Oh. Um, I'm to, not saying to create... you do, but I'm just saying... Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Part but I, I don't problem. demonize soya because I believe pe people lump all, all soya in together when uh, it's not all... But not all I, soy is equal. What I don't when, like is actually just like processed food. Yeah, yeah, but like I, 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 we have different battles. Yeah. See, processed food to me is a personal choice. Yeah. Okay, like yeah. you can choose to smoke cigarettes, yeah. it's harming you. Yeah. I wouldn't agree with that. I don't want you to harm yourself. Yeah. But when we stab animals in the neck so that we can steal the dairy from their bodies, because that's what happens to all dairy cows, they go to a slaughterhouse yeah. and they get minced up into burgers so other people can eat them, even if the vegetarians yeah. don't. Um, I feel I like. No, I know yeah. you're trying to convince the people who eat meat. I'm already not one of those people. Yeah, and, and I think soya, so like we, when we demonize soya over, like, let's just say I was eating organic chicken and someone else was eating Monsanto soy, I would still say I would I'd prefer you to eat the Monsanto soy over stabbing that chicken in the face. Mm. You know what I mean? So I think I differ there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd prefer the chicken get their head cut off, but I and and I would rather eat the non-sentient plant yeah. food that doesn't suffer. It's still sentient. P plant is sentient. Yeah, yeah. What do you think sentience is? Sentient is to like have consciousness, to mm -hmm. have a uh, soul, to have vital life force. All okay. plants. So plants have a soul, soul, and a, yes. and a consciousness. Do yes. you think plants are self-aware? They might be. Now, do you do you believe they are? I think they're sentient. Okay, sentient, you know, like, see me and you, how we're experiencing this reality right now. Yeah. And, like, you, you you're you in the world and you're aware of the world. Yeah. Do you think that this blade of grass here is aware of that they're in the world? Like, if I step on it, they I suffer? I they and... have a divine intelligence, yes. Hmm. No, no, not intelligence is different to sentience. You know that, right? But I think they're sentient, yes. Yeah. I think they're so, sentient. So, intelligence, like, is like a, 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 a yeah, calculator is intelligent, but it's not sentient. Uh, it can I, it I can think calculate. I it is a, like a me mechanical intelligence. Yeah. But I think that all these things around us are sentient. So do you beings. think like a carrot, for instance, is the same sentience as a pig? I think they both are sentient beings, and it's the way that. And they suffer the same. Do you think they suffer the same? Um. I don't know. It's not me to say which suffers more. To well, do you think you like if you had a human being, being? Do you think a human being and a carrot suffer the same? So would you rather me hurt the carrot over the person, or which one? You wouldn't saying, choose. Would you say, no. look, if there's a choice That's right now between? Western way of thinking, I think. What, well, the, um, way, the way is like this or that, a, X or Y. No, well, I'm trying to figure out whether you actually believe that a carrot. So I think it's ridiculous. A carrot doesn't have a brain, a nervous system. They don't have consciousness. We yeah, can test that's this with problem. science. That's the problem. Yeah. That we have like limited our idea of this Pain. environment and and ecology to like. Uh, to hierarchies and yeah. we need to be thinking about the so do, but you think like there should be hierarchies of like like value so like that rock should not be held to the same you know degree of moral standard as that dog like imagine if we did you know, we did hold it to all the a rock standards. imagine if we did but why would we care about a rock i'm just saying it's part of the ecosystem imagine if we did mm -hmm. If we cared about a rock? If, uh, imagine I mean, if we cared about all sentient beings in the same way. And so our yeah, way of sentient beings, yes, but I don't think a, a rock is sentient. This so is what I mean. We don't need to agree on that. Yeah. I'm already veg anyways. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to agree on whether a rock is a conscious being. Yeah. I mean, I would beg to differ with you. I think yeah, that that's... We, we can't compare a rock to like a bird. Yeah, that's where you're... You know, right. if someone taught a bird, I would stop them. If someone kicked a rock, I don't care. That's and I'm sure if I, right. kicked a, if I kicked a rock, you'd probably say, Whatever, it's a rock. Like I'm standing on the ground right now, and you don't yeah. care. I'm standing yeah. on the grass, and you're not. 
pushing yeah. me off of it. Yeah. So I think like we have this idea about sentience of plants, but we don't actually believe it. Cause if I was like kicking the ground now, like you don't think I'm hurting the grass or anything. I think it's a value system with which we like engage with our surroundings. I might be like stepping on the grass right now, but it's the way in which I'm holding myself, which I'm consuming, all sorts of things. Like it's a whole value system. And it's not just me standing on this ground. I'm doing it with utmost respect but it's about where we get our food from, how, so how things tell me about the ghee. I want to tell me about the ghee. You know how much suffering is in the dairy industry? Well, I only get grass fed like from very specific farms. So if you feed the cow grass, do you think that stops the suffering? From of what? Like if, of a, gra if a cow eats grass, do you think that stops their suffering? I think there can be a reciprocal relationship between plants and humans. They can, between but, animals and but plants. in the dairy industry, you know they take the calf away. Yeah, but not everyone is doing that. This is not an industry. There are a lot of small farms and like small uh, people, like small... Uh, that don't take the calf away to take the milk? How are they going to sell the milk? How are they going to make a profit off the milk if the calf drinks it? I don't know. Yeah, so, so they, they have to take the calves away. They have to impregnate the cows. And when the cows don't produce milk anymore, they don't go to a sanctuary. They go to the slaughterhouse. They impregnate them. They have to impregnate. Cows have to be, have had a baby to produce milk just like you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think there are like different ways in which that can happen. No, there's not. They artificially inseminate them with a fist. I can Even actually show you. Farms? Is this it here? Yeah, small farms do the same. It's the same process, just on a smaller scale. So they will uh, stick the fist, their whole entire arm inside the anus of the cow to hold the cervix. I've and then they, uh, they take the semen from a bull by they use a, an electric ejaculator to ejaculate the male bull yeah, through the anus. System. It's it's perverted, and then they inject the, the, the semen into the female. But you know, like everyone makes it. And this is a calf slaughterhouse. This van that you're driving, where did the where did the minerals, where did the materials come? This is plastic, <coughs> yeah. the paper, everything yeah. has come from somewhere that's affected the land, animals, and fish and stuff around yeah. them. Every single. Yeah, I don't thing. think we can live without. I don't think we can so we live without choices. causing harm. There's not but every single choice that you make. I think there's degrees though. Do you believe that, like, if I were to, like, just say, attack this dog right now and eat their body, that that would be the same as me purchasing a plastic table? Morally, like, I'm asking you morally. Yeah. Like, there are choices that I can make right now that would... there are some things that are in There are face. degrees. There are yeah. some things that are in our face and some things that aren't. Yeah. And so we yeah. can pretend to be disconnected when we don't see where something is coming from, how it's being processed, and that's well, the same just, with the meat Well, let's industry. just say with the dairy, right? Let's stick to dairy, because we're talking about the ghee and that. Well, let's just, so say, things, but let's I, just say, I there's don't, a, let's just say there's a, let's just, let's talk really hypothetically. Respect, I really respect what you're oh, doing, where you're coming from. Well, I just want to figure out. We disagree, I appreciate the bogo, I'm going to walk away What's now. Gigi bogo? I appreciate your bogo. Oh, bogo, I thought what's you were telling me some Gigi? type of language. <laughs> I thought you were saying something Gigi? really like spiritual to me, like, and you're blessing me before you left. <laughs> Like but you said the burger. appreciate the burger. <laughs> Is that sorry? No, I appreciate the burger. No, that's I okay. I, I like the discussing these things. I, know, I like I to get. I like fill it. Uh, well, not it's really. It's good. No, it's good. It's good. I like this it. is I like me, the like normally. I, I get philosophical, yeah, because I believe that, like, if you were enslaved and someone was hurting you for the milk and I went and paid for it, I believe I'd be paying for slavery and I'd be protecting, I, like, I would yeah. want an activist to defend you I and I'm that, that activist. I we were so thoughtful about every single thing that we purchased and mm. that we consumed because, like, for example, the Heinz product company is mm. a huge multinational that has a lot of cheap yeah, They labels. kill tomatoes. No, you know? it's not about, it's about how they treat humans, it's about the way they I don't know, uh, uh, Heinz is an Australian company. So, big deal, they have factories all over the world. Do you think they're abusing people in Heinz? Look at Heinz and the way that they create factories, any multinational <coughs> company. Are they abusing people at Heinz? I do you have, can you show me videos of that? Because we've got videos of the dairy industry here. Well, we should all do our own research and look at the Heinz well. company because I'm pretty sure that any big... Are they enslaving company? people at Heinz? Well, just, right. just... Just they wanted to. Be, they they might, might be, but I want to know if they are because I, I can know. guarantee you that cows are enslaved and killed in the dairy yeah, industry. I didn't come to this place with all my facts. I came with the kill in the park. Yeah, Next yeah. time I'll come. You'll come with, with your Heinz slavery yeah. facts. I'll come with the If documents. you show me that Heinz has slavery, I'll boycott Heinz for you tomorrow. Okay. All right? <laughs> so there we have it. Look at the beautiful view here. This is what we were looking at where we did the Stands for Change here. Amazing and. Uh, you know, promoting marine animal rights, getting people to leave the fish alone. We also don't forget about the other animals there. We never forget about the other animals. I think everyone loved those Gardein fishless fillets. Again, not sponsored, trying to help the fish. That's all we're doing here. And uh, there was a very positive reaction from people. I don't think I've ever done a Stands for Change with so many vegans 
that walked up in my entire life. It was just like, oh, hey, like, I'm expecting to say vegetarian, this and that, no, I'm vegan, I'm vegan, I'm vegan. It, like, all the young girls that were here were vegan. So that's a really positive thing. Bondi Beach breeds a lot of vegans. But the ocean behind us, with the little fishies in there, and uh, I'm not gonna tell you where we're going, but you have to come along for the adventure, so let's do it.